We want to turn back to our coverage of COVID-19 vaccines. Less than 24 hours ago, the FDA gave the green light for Moderna and Johnson & Johnson booster shots. This comes as the White House rolls out its plan for vaccination in kids 5 to 11. So this has led to a lot of questions and concerns out there, and 11 Alive is committed to bringing you the answers from the experts, 11 Alive medical correspondent Dr. Sujatha Reddy joining me live this morning to get us some answers. Good morning, Dr. Reddy. Good morning, Aisha. Nice to see you. You as well. So let's jump into it. So why might someone actually want to get a different brand of a vaccine for their booster than they got for their initial vaccination? Yeah, and that's a great question, but there are some factors that might come up. I think living in a big city, we can't you know, fathom a world where maybe there's one pharmacy, like in a small town, and maybe they can only stock one brand of vaccine. So you may have gotten one shot at the health department, and now there's another one available. This mixing and matching will only help people in rural, more in rural areas, get the booster shot. So it makes sense. The other thing is if you had a bad reaction or you're fearful of, let's say, the blood clot side effect that's very rare with J&J &J, or the heart effect that affected younger men with the mRNA vaccine, you may want to switch your brand to, you know, maybe appease your fear because some people are very fearful. Even though those are rare side effects, they're serious ones. So those are some reasons that I think it, you could switch brands. All right, so we know this guidance right now about, okay, so who's actually eligible to get a booster shot? It's kind of confusing. So where do you start if you want to find out if you're even eligible to get one? Is there a way that we can just get that really easy and plain? Yeah, you know, I think this is an instance where, you, you know, you should trust your healthcare provider. And if you, you know, have a, a regular physician or any kind of provider, I would ask them. But really, it's it's kind of simple if you break it down this way. If you're immunocompromised in any way, you should get that third dose. If you're over 65, get that booster six months from your last vaccine. And then if you are an adult over 18, but either work in a high risk setting, like in an ICU or a hospital, or perhaps even a teacher, or you live in a high risk setting like a dorm or a correctional facility, you also can qualify. But if you have any questions, I would ask your healthcare provider. They know you, they know your history, and they can give you your best input. And really quick, Dr. Reddy, as a mom and as a medical professional, what would you say to those parents that are hesitant about getting the vaccine for the kids now that it's possibly gonna be available for five to 11 year olds? You know, here too, as a parent, you want what's best for your child. You have to weigh the risks and benefits. I have to think you, you have to weigh your own individual situation. But here too, you can ask your pediatrician. They know your child, they know your child's history. But I think kind of for me, what it's gonna come down to is, can I have my son in school? Or is it, you know, or is he not gonna be allowed in school? Cause I think that's where this may be heading. So I think you have to weigh all the pros and cons. I think you also have to know that hundreds of millions of doses of all the vaccines have been given around the world. So it has been, you know, fire by trial by fire, if you look at it that way. And, you know, everything that we're hearing, it is safe. But if you have doubts, ask your pediatrician. All right, there you go, straight from the experts. Thank you so much, Dr. Reddy, for joining us live this morning.